Have you ever used acrylic ink for portraits? In this demo, I want to show you how I use ink and heavy body acrylics to paint not one, but two beagle portraits. If you're unsure about color or opacity, just grab a scrap piece of paper or canvas board and test it out. I wanted to see how this ink would look over the purple sketch. Hmm, not bad. Let's start with this muted grey. Acrylic ink dries very quickly, so it's ideal for underpainting. To keep it simple, I'm using the Zorn palette of Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Red Medium, Ivory Black and Titanium White. If you don't know how to match a certain color, it helps to have a guide like this handmade one as a reference. This beagle's fur can be matched by mixing yellow, red, and a touch of black for just the right shade of brown. Color in your reference image will look different in every light. What you want to do is train your eye to notice these subtleties while paying attention to tonal value. Let's look at this white fur for example. It's not exactly pure white. To match it, I'm using black, a little yellow and lots of white. If you make a mistake, don't worry, it's acrylic so you can just paint over it. For the tongue, I'm using red, a little black, and white. The ivory black mutes the boldness of the cadmium red medium, and because it's a substitute for blue in the Zorn palette, the result will be purple. As soon as you add white, you'll begin to see it. Mastering any skill requires practice with the intent to keep improving. For portraits, eyes are usually the main storytelling feature, so learning how to bring them to life will serve you well. And that's portrait number one of Bill the Beagle. Now it's time for the next one with the muted turquoise underpainting. Whenever I'm painting with watercolor or acrylic ink, I often play with the shape of the brush to apply quick strokes of tonal value. You know, I can't decide which color I like more, the muted gray or this muted turquoise. What do you think? Now I'm going to repeat the process of painting with heavy body acrylic. Hmm, you know what? This orange looks nice over blue. I think I may use this combination more often. If you're worried about losing the pencil guidelines, just paint in small sections. This will also keep you from being overwhelmed. Once again, white looks different in every light, so consider mixing it with other colors and layering from dark to light. What I really like about acrylic paint is its chameleon-like ability to resemble oils as well as watercolors. To blend or fade, I often apply a watered-down wash of colors. Consider it a filter too. You can easily adjust the tone this way as well.
And here's a second portrait. Well, I hope you found this two portrait demo of Build a Beagle twice as helpful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.